Now, Marjorie. Yes, Jim. When he gets here, mm -hmm. you have got to be tough. <laughs> I do not want, to want one of these fluff interviews where you ask soft questions. You've you know, got to be tough. Jim, if you let me get one word in before you interrupt <laughs> Whatever, me. Marjorie. Forget interrupting. Just be tough, okay? Hey, guys. Hey, it's Jim Browdy. I am Marjorie Egan. Look who's here for Boston Public Radio. Welcome, Governor, and his chief aide, Mindy. It's so nice Good to see you. See you. Hello, How are Mindy? you? Hello, I'm Governor. Doing fine. Hello, Mindy. Sorry, nice, to, nice to see you. I'm sorry I'm late. I was, I was just out being bipartisan. Oh, yeah? Social on liberal issues. Oh, great. S liberal on social issues. Oh, great. <laughs> Conservative on fiscal issues. Yes. And critical of the president when appropriate. Exactly. <laughs> Exactly. But yeah. Governor, Governor, some very serious charges have been leveled Marjorie, against you. Marjorie, I will handle this. Governor, some very serious charges have been leveled against you. So let's just get to it if we can. How is it, how is it that you've been able to accomplish so much with the Department of Children and Families? You are fixing the T. You have done so many incredible things in such a short period of time. Oh, my God, he is pathetic, pathetic, pathetic. Jim, I thought that was an excellent question. Well, thank you. And I do it by being bipartisan. Liberal on social issues. Oh, great. Conservative on fiscal issues. Yeah. And appropriately disagreeing with the president when it makes sense. Fabulous. And, and, and just caring about people. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Great, great answer, Governor. Let's take a call if we can. Catherine from Watertown, you are on with the Governor of the Commonwealth. Governor Dude, it's so awesome that now there are no lines at the Registry of Motor Vehicles. I know. Mindy, we worked really hard on that. <laughs> so hey, listen to this Dude, I have a great idea. Why don't you sell weed at the branches? You know, I'll, uh, I'll consider it, but you know, while I do, I'm, I really don't think you should be driving, Catherine. Hey, hold on a second. Marjorie, is this weed call from you? <laughs> oh, well, you can't blame a girl for trying. Okay, actually, yes, you can. <laughs> Martin from Dorchester, you are on with the most popular governor in America. Yes. Hi, Governor. Just a little PR advice for you. When you're with other elected officials in public, try to crouch down a bit. Better yet, maybe just sit in a chair. You stand up and everyone else looks short. I mean, look at the mayor. He's like 6'1", maybe 6'2", in the right shoes. You get up there and suddenly he's a leprechaun. I'm worried about you, Governor. You don't want to look like you're big-timing everyone and jeopardizing that approval rating. Actually, I think it is the mayor. It is the mayor. You know, I, uh, I got to say, though, I'm, I'm actually going to consider that. Oh, you are? Good. Yeah, because my friendship with the mayor, that's, that's part of me being bipartisan. Oh, really? Liberal on social issues. I love that. Conservative on fiscal oh, issues. Oh, yes. And critical of the president when appropriate. Beautifully said, Your Excellency. You know, God help us. Governor, is there anything else you'd like to say? Yeah, I got one more thing I want to say. Live, Live from, from Lansdowne Street, Street it's, it's better.